Jamie from Inky and Scrappy sharing with you today a birthday pup buy featuring Lawn Fawn's Hey There Hay Rides scene building with pattern paper. I pulled out these three sheets from the Doodlebug Designs 6x6 paper pack farmer's market. So I was trying to go for something that had some subtler patterns on it that you could either add to or just use them as is but not distract from the scene overall. So there's this tone on tone vegetable paper in a bright green color, but I think it would work well for the grass. Now there's also this farm fresh paper here, which is black and white, but the letters are fairly small and I love me a good text back where, you know, background paper. And so that one just worked well. I figured I could ink over the top of it for my clouds or my sky. The paper pack really didn't have any like blues in it or sky colors. And so this way I can take that white and black and just add that pop of blue that I need for the sky. And then I'm going to bring in the stencil set here from Lompon. It's the stitch, the slimline stitched hilly stencils and that one hilly one matches perfectly with the fence border die from Lawn Fawn as well so and of course that road die so I'm going to end up using all three of those to kind of create my scene and it's going to flow you know very well I guess they all have that same hill to them so they work well that way so I'm gonna kind of tape those down and then I'm going to run them all through my die cut machine. And then for my clouds here, I'm bringing in a, my favorite things, I think this one is the mini cloud stencil. It's not the micro one, the mini cloud stencil, and then just adding some stencils to my background paper, any stencil stamp or any cloud stencil would work here just to give you a cloud, you know, some cloudy sky. I forgot that I cut this down to size. So, you know, just me double checking. So to make sure that my hill is going to line up where I want it to, I'm just going to glue that directly on already. And then I'll bring it in and add in my road here. And then this way, once it's all on there, I can work on cutting it down to that five and a half inch wide piece of paper that I need for my completed card front. So I didn't leave a border on this one. I was doing it straight, just a straight card front, keeping it kind of simpler today. So once I have this all done, and I didn't measure my papers so they you know usually I'm pretty good about measuring making sure that I don't have overlap this one I just wanted to make sure that my clouds here were long enough that they were going to cover anything that might be missed on my bottom panel here so I wasn't overly concerned about making sure that I had just the right amount they were a little bit longer it worked and then for my images, so I do put a block on them to kind of hold them in place and as they dry there and then kind of bring in my images that I already had colored and cut out and kind of set off to the side there. Trying to figure out what I all want to do on what I have real estate for really on my card front here. And then of course, I thought it would be cute to make a little chicken drive. And then for my trailer, I did end up coloring this one solid. So it looks like it's a fully enclosed trailer. It doesn't have that little mesh or, I don't know, fencing, I guess, around it. And then making sure my tractor and my trailer match because I colored a bunch of them and I colored them in different shades of green. You know, I was trying to find the best John Deere color collection. Do you think I wrote it down? No, that would have been like thinking or something. I don't know. So I'm going to add in some bales here. I like to do things in threes, so you will see that a lot. And then of course, I'm just adding in some of the little image, the little farm images from the tiny farm stamp set. 
from Lanfon as well. They kind of go perfectly with the images in the Hayrides. Hey there, stands that. And then I will add the little smokestack that, or the little puffs of smoke, I guess, that come out of the puff butt. And then I'm going to add in the little, I felt that it needed a little bit something yet, so adding in the little sign there I thought worked well. Now, deciding what to put in the sign was, you know, another story. It takes me time to figure these things out. I really kind of wanted something punny, and I couldn't find anything punny. I don't know all the stamp sets that have the little tiny words. I'm sure at some point in time I will, you know, go back and find all the punny things. Anyways, so I did the hay rides in the one, and then the this way in the other. I don't know if that really makes much sense. This way, hay rides, but it's like, hey there, or, or hey there, George. Like, which way did he go, George? And you tell them one direction, but you point the other. Yeah, that's what the sign kind of reminds me of. Anyways, so then for my sentiment on this one, I had thought about stamping directly on it, but because I have the sentiment or the text in the background on my sky there, I brought in some Avery L. Simple Sentiment Strips here. They're already die cut out on my desk, so I was just free stamping on them to finish it off. Kind of putting them over on the corner, I knew I was going to cut off the one side that overhang or overhung overhang overhung yeah we'll, we'll go with that one and so I will add that one on here just kind of adding them to the side that kind of needed a little something yet it felt like it was missing something and this one is complete I didn't add any glitter I didn't add any you know gems which is not my normal but I kept it fairly simple it's already in the mail and on the way to its recipient I know it's surprising I had a lot of birthdays this month so I am going to do my sentiment on the inside here just adding that to an acrylic block and trying to get it to line up do you think I can get the exclamation point in the proper direction the first time around. No, I had it upside down. Oh, wow. It was a day. That's all I got to say. So, hope your day is filled with fun. And then I added the little three critters that go in the wagon, but they go perfectly over the sentiment on the inside. And I love that it brings in the outside of the card into the inside of the card. So, hey there. Happy birthday. And, you know, I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. Keep getting inky. Bye.